<laughs> you know what that means, don't you? Yeah, you can turn it off. Like, sun, sun. Yeah. What's it going to look like tonight? No, it's not going to be a clear night. <laughs> and it's not time for Wayne's cave. I think it might be. <laughs> the moon is up tonight at 59%. But uh, I'm, this is experimental. One, I'm going to try and just show you guys on my tablet connecting to my Raspberry Pi, which controls my equipment. And also, because of the moon, I am putting in a 2 inch moon and sky globe filter. Now, as to its effectiveness, um, I haven't tested this fully. I sort of grabbed one online, it was the only one I could get at the time without any proper research into it. I needed it quick because I was visiting a relative and I knew there was some moon out and I, it was just on the arsenal and ticked the box I needed to get one. Anyhow, without further ado, just to explain, I've got that in my adapter as well as my normal light pollution filter, uh, Optolong L Pro clipping filter in my actual Canon T3i. Um, so I'm going to take some shots uh, on a new target tonight that I haven't done before. I've had a quick look on Stellarium. It's just coming into view around about the right time. So um, I'm going to go over there. But first, I thought I'd experiment tonight and try and do on my software on KSTARS and ECOS that comes with already loaded into the Stellamate Wi-Fi Raspberry Pi computer that's outside on my rig. Um, I'm going to try and use the Polo Alignment Alignment module which takes test shots and then helps me adjust the smaller increments to get the best Polar Alignment this is on the, just an open browser window and the address is basically a local address for the Stellamate on, on the Wi-Fi, on my home Wi-Fi. If I was out in the field, the Stellamate would then see that there's no Wi-Fi signal that it's registered with and kick out its own Wi-Fi signal which then you can ask any device to join it, you know, search for what Wi-Fi, it will see Stella mate and then join it that way. So I connect, press this connect button, ask me for this password. Send password. And here we go. So here, this is, that's the Stella mate sign, look. All you have to do, because it's a tablet, there's these little, on the sidebar, you just have to tell it, because you haven't got a physical mouse and keyboard. So now I'll, pre I'll press the hand, hand track, look, and I can just move it around. And here, this is the desktop of my Stellamate outside. So I normally come into this, um, double click on K-Stars, and just and see there, we're loading. And there's our sky map, which I can drag around because I've still got the drag hand symbol. Look, and I lost command box. Look, so this comes up, and this is where all the sort of pre planning and stuff comes in. Just to run through it ever so quickly, I've got to load up my profile, which at the start you can, when you open, first open this product, and you can have as many profiles as you want. So if you've got different telescopes, different equipment, you know, different combinations, save them as My Astro Gear Celestron SCD or My Astro Gear um, 
ED80, whatever your scope is and all the rest of it, just to remind you what the setup is. I know what my setup is there, so I'm gonna press play here. And here, everything's gonna tell me it's connecting. Look, it's all loading up, all my equipment loading up. Is This is now the indie. This is running through indie control panel. This is all the details for my different tabs of the different gear. So my Celestron mount, my Altair GP224 is acting as my guide cam and my Canon DSLR there. Now we're on uh, Polaris. So I'm gonna now just drag the screen down, open that ECOS. Uh, okay, stars like command module uh, or task task window that um, and I'm going to use this is the solver solver thing so you can capture and solve in different ways so you can just do some solving and just sync them out or you can capture some images and then ask it to slew to that target you're on. So what we're going to do is nothing, I believe nothing for the polar alignment form, which is another tab over here. So for polar alignment, so we, it says the tool provides a simple method to polar align your German equatorial mount. Park your mount to home position where it points towards the celestial pole, pole. Select mount direction and speed and then click start to begin process. We're going to go, um, let's just start. done ladies and gentlemen <laughs> I know these pictures aren't very clear <laughs> uh, and you they say you only do it once but actually I did it for a brief while when taking test shots doing it all manually when I about a year ago now and it's just dawned on me seeing some faint star streaks that my Batten off mask is still in it. So I'm amazed it solved that first frame uh, when we was on the north uh, on Polaris earlier. Now, I'm gonna take that baton off mask off. Is it gonna solve it? Because I do believe we would have run the solver, no problem. <laughs> yeah. It, it wouldn't have had a uh, problem if it could see the stars. It always helps, doesn't it? See you in a minute. That's looking more of a solid picture of stars now. This is just taking the second picture. It, it's solving um, you know, where I touch the screen. It's been really accurate. Like This has been that accurate. I should have zoomed in on that K-Star screen to touch the star on my big fat finger on it zoomed out it, it's it's just come up you know so it, it's solving in those precise location you know uh, coordinates so we are it took that picture doesn't need to be eight seconds long Hello again guys, I'll uh, definitely be trimming this video down, um, but uh, I've slewed over to Polaris on K-Stars, um, so now the Matanoff mask isn't on, and 
I now know play stars slews the telescope for me. I'm just going to give this polar alignment module another go. Here, you press start. It's capturing an image. Press done. And let it capture the third and final image. See if it can give me a reading oh, of the correct information that is. So I'll look into that. Right, okay. <clears throat> the mount axis is to the bottom right of the celestial pole. Now here we go, this is what we're after. So, I'm going to put this big screen now, right? shows me look but I need to move that star I need to move that star into into that cross so I'm going to take this screen out with me move my alt as bolts and then get back to you mate all right Welcome to Wayne's Cave. Um, so as you can see, we've managed to get out over a couple of nights, try and capture some more beautiful images. And um, yeah, as you can see, we're getting our head around new software on board Raspberry Pi computer Stellamate, which is, is getting better every time we use it. Uh, like with all things, it'll uh, test us and test our limits of patience when it comes to technology and new softwares and um, the, uh, the whole imaging session becomes a, a different regime, a different flow. Um, still enjoying being under them beautiful clear skies. And yeah, uh, I know at times we can be questioning ourselves when we're staring at this. What you want to do is get imaging and you've still got to set up your target and set up your shooting schedule and you're, you're finding your way around these platforms. Um, and sure, at times you sort of think to yourself, oh, I'm pulling my hair out, what's left of it? How can I, I should just stick to clicking a, a, a button on the blooming uh, camera manually and, and, and just and, and continue capturing like that uh, because it can it can be testing when you're tired late at night um, but when it's it's good and you get familiar with it it's uh, like anything when you get your head around the tool you want to use. Um, it's it's like hallelujah. So we've really enjoyed the last couple of sessions, learning more all the time. As you can see, it's not all perfect. You you, you try new um, profiles, new um, new tools with within the software. doesn't always work out with anyone out there that says everything works for the first time and it, it, it is it's you know it's blemish free it, it's not true but that's part of the enjoyment because then when you get your finished product at the end and you're dead excited and happy with what you've managed to conjure up and capture out there in the the endless abyss of space and substance is truly well worth it um, so I'm gonna leave you look over this magical image 
that's out there for us all to lose ourselves in and set our imaginations running, just running free. Okay guys, I hope you enjoy this image.